Some of the museum's volunteers are about to take the Kathleen Gillett out for a sail, and it's a real privilege to sail a yacht with such an interesting history. The Kathleen Gillett is one of the Australian National Maritime Museum's fleet of restored vessels, which are open to the public seven days a week. She's a 13-metre double-ended gaff ketch and was based on plans by the famous Norwegian naval architect Colin Archer. Built over six years at Gladesville in Sydney by Swedish shipwright Charles Larsson, who had many years' experience building square riggers. The Kathleen Gillett was commissioned in early 1930 by Jack Earle and his wife Kathleen, after whom the boat was named. They dreamt of a romantic circumnavigation of the globe. The Colin Archer design seemed perfect for this adventure, being extremely seaworthy and sturdy. Jack was an artist and put funds towards the project whenever he could. Eventually she was launched in March 1939 and Kathleen and then now two children lived aboard while fitting out the rest of the rigging. By 1947 the yacht was complete and Jack and his family were ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Sailing around the world in a beautiful yacht. But the lack of funds and the outbreak of World War II put an end to that dream. Let's go to the other one now. Okay. So for the period of the war, the Kathleen Gillett was used as a patrol vessel along the New South Wales coast. After the war, Jack still had a hankering for ocean sailing and decided with a group of friends to sail to Hobart. There were nine yachts in all, and it was also agreed that rather than a cruise, it would be a race. The Kathleen Gillett finished fourth and third on handicap. This would become the first Sydney Hobart yacht race that has been held annually since 1945. By mid-1947, with his eldest son now 14, it was no longer practical to sail around the world as a family. So instead, Jack and his four mates left for the 18-month voyage that would eventually cover 26,000 nautical miles.
The first mate, Mick Morris, wrote a detailed account of the adventure that was illustrated by Jack and published monthly in a magazine called Seacraft. Jack also sold paintings at ports of call to pay for supplies on the voyage. What do you reckon? I think we should uh, attack yeah, before we yeah. get into Rose Bay. Ready to go about. He also illustrated a log which was sent back to his family and friends in Sydney so they could follow this amazing adventure. Jack and his crew soon became celebrities as the Kathleen Gillett was only the second Australian yacht to circumnavigate the globe. They eventually returned to Sydney on December 7th, 1948, having successfully achieved the voyage of a lifetime. The family then moved back on board and the yacht was moored in Mossman Bay until it was sold in 1950. For the next 30 or 40 years, the Kathleen Gillett was used as a trading vessel around various Pacific islands until she was caught in Typhoon Pamela in 1976 and severely damaged. For the next 11 years, she languished in a Guam boatyard, awaiting funds for repairs by various different owners. In 1987, the Kathleen was located in Guam, brought back to Australia and restored through the assistance of the Norwegian government. before being given as a bicentennial gift to the Australian people. An example of a beautiful timber yacht from the glorious days of sailing.